Okay. So now in this video, we will discuss about uh, production failures. What are the production failures in general happens in real time? Happens in real time. Okay. So one is duplicate issue. So if it is duplicate issue, how we can handle it? So we need to apply a permanent solution and as well as we need to apply the temporary fix. So temporary fix, the load has to be continued. And what we can do is in the destination file, uh, file or a database where the data is uh, extracting, in that particular table, we need to remove the duplicates and rerun the job. So that is one thing. And even though sometimes duplicates occurs, then what we can do, we can add a remove duplicate stage or any transformer stage based on the key columns by using hash partition, we can remove the duplicates. That is one thing. And second thing is multiple DB resources. For example, at the same time, uh, two jobs are triggering at a time. Okay, so two, uh, if, if it is database having a space issue, Database is having space issue. What happens? So space issue means which has limited space. So only one job can run. Same times, uh, two jobs are running. So even though you have taken the time criteria and uh, there is a time gap, but what happens uh, due to some uh, delay, huge date, huge data that we receive from source. So then there is a delay in one of the job. Then what happens is that particular job will fail because due to the space issue. So this has been occurred in my scenario. So two, two jobs are triggered at a time and one job has killed the other, uh, this thing, because this has to be priority to be loaded. Okay, so then what happens is due to the space issue, and the, both the job got failed. What we have done was at the back end DB level, we have cleared all the hanging session. And okay, so action item we need to take is clear the clear the blocking sessions. Okay, log DB log blocking sessions at, at database log DB log. Okay. And Rerun the job. So DBA can help you guys. Okay, if it is uh, warehouses in Oracle or Teradata. Okay, so the DBA guy will help you with that. Okay, and third one is sometimes what happens is like uh, deadlock issue. Deadlock issues. So in general, deadlock issues have what happens is like. Uh, Multiple jobs are running at a time, four, five jobs. Okay. And there will be sudden outage or something. Then what happens is uh, data won't be get loaded. Then what happens is we need to clear the uh, log session or we can wait for some time. Wait for some time and uh, rerun the job. Okay. So this is another uh, uh, scenario. And the fourth one is, and what are the other issues that we faced Karim? And session running for long time. Right? So this also we may face session running for long time. So why the particular job is running for long time? Okay, session or uh, session running for long time or job is running for, for long time. So why it is running for long time? We have to understand that. So why it is running for long time? So in which stage that particular job is get stuck? So if it is a SQL, okay, so you, you are running the SQL that has been called in data stage job and the particular SQL is running for long time. So even extracting data from source. So you need to understand uh, the entire query and what exactly happening in the query. What, what are you trying to extract? And you need to check whether, uh, and you need to check whether indexes 
indexes okay indexes are applied at the table level okay so normally join keys at the table level so normally join keys at the table level so indexes are applied at the table level on the join key columns join key columns so this has to be taken care and used used only selected columns in the from list okay so for example i am calling table a so I have table a and table b and i have table c so i am joining this uh, three tables okay so each table has 50 columns but i am bringing uh, only 10 columns from three uh, three tables okay so instead of uh, so select stars we have uh, some columns okay so there are some columns uh, column 1 okay like that okay so column 10 okay so we have 10 columns okay from so here what you can do from the instead of calling all the uh, uh, all the data like uh, entire column what we can do what are the columns that is used in the select list and join keys you can call here okay so with that what happens is uh, from from list uh, the table what and all the columns used that will be stored in separate space and it will perform the necessary join conditions what and all you applied in the query so that uh, you can save the time okay what happens is for example, if you, do, if you have, if you call the entire table and in, in that 50 columns, it will be separated to some, uh, some location. And it's a very difficult to search for entire uh, uh, selected columns in the list. So there will be time delay happens in the query. So even I have faced the same scenario. So I have called three tables, then it, it, the job has took one hour to complete. So then it's, uh, uh, useless like i will be extracting data uh, of million records from the entire combination of three tables then what i did was i have selected only the necessary columns and uh, restructure my sql then i'm able to finish the sql within 12 minutes so here uh, see almost uh, we have saved uh, one fifth of the time so we have saved 20 percent time so like that, you have to troubleshoot your SQL, okay? And even for data state jobs also, split, okay? So split into one or two jobs, okay? Don't make everything in one job. So that is the reason uh, uh, Karima has asked me in the last week. Uh, there is a sequence. Again, in the sequence, uh, they created subsequence. In that subsequence, there are many parallel jobs. Okay, so in the main sequence, we can call all the uh, parallel jobs. But what happens is, your job design looks like so complex and uh, there'll be a flow and it's a design will be complicated. So to avoid the complication of your job design, split into one or two subsequences or one or two jobs. So that will make our uh, life, I mean, design simple and to avoid the, all the performance issues. Okay. And the next one is tip. So, Karim, do you have any, uh, do you face any other issues in your uh, project? You can, sir, uh, in, my project, in my project, there is no chance to learn, sir. Oh, chance to learn. Okay, Just okay. only two issues are there, sir. Only uh, first one is duplicates and some other one is uh, deadlock issues, sir. That is uh, already, I have comments previously, those who have done, sir. I'm copying and pasting, that's it, sir. I didn't have much chance to oh. learn, sir. Okay. Only okay. two issues I know, sir. So one no. thing I have learned from others, sir. So just I have listened that. So when we use that uh, force complete, sir. Force complete. Yes, sir. Force complete. Okay. So force complete. 
so in my uh, sir not okay, my, okay. in my colleague sir uh, some so that is some other application sir i am not supporting that application but uh, my colleague is sub, uh, supporting that application sir he, he is not uh, sir, he is not helping me sir but i asked how to why you uh, uh, did that course complete sir so his job was failure at that time he passed the comments like that so please course complete like that sir okay Tell so he, okay so what happens is in general uh, uh, there will there, there will be instructions that has to be followed like uh, after rerun first rerun sometimes uh, so this deadlock issues or uh, happens right so they will run from the director end okay so they will run the job from director end then what happens is so they will uh, post complete then they will set it in uh, third party tool especially tidal right so like that they will set Okay, and even I will uh, try to make. I mean, what are what are the other common issues that uh, we may face in the production environment? Okay, so we will discuss in next video.